three tips to make money without investing. You've seen it all before, promises to make money online for free, except that they're never actually free. There's always a catch somewhere, or an investment that you're expected to make up front. Every day, more people want to know how they can make money online for free. They want to break out of their boring, wearing, and otherwise unideal jobs and become their own boss from the ease of their own homes. And they want to do it without spending the costly resources that they have now. Today, we're going to demonstrate for you how you can do just that. We'll look at the three best ways to make money online, no catch and no money needed for you to get up and running. Number one, become a virtual assistant. If you have skill for organizing and planning, becoming a virtual assistant is a great way to make extra cash online. Virtual assistants deliver vital remote administrative and technical service to business owners. Virtual assistance is a quickly growing career field because of the benefits it offers to both employees and the persons who employ them. Employees can save time and cash by outsourcing tasks to virtual assistants as an alternative of hiring full-time employees or performing the work themselves. And virtual assistants enjoy the elasticity and independence of remote freelance work that frequently offers opportunities for entry-level employees. The first step to becoming a virtual assistant is finding which skills are your strengths. A resume that highlights your administrative abilities will show employers that you're capable to do the job even if you have minimal experience. Here are some of the most common skills you will need. Computer proficiency. Virtual assistants use an extensive range of computer programs to perform their tasks. You will need to be acquainted with using the internet, managing email inboxes, and using cloud-based communication such as file distribution, password managers, and teleconference. Skills in creating documents, files, and spreadsheets is vital as well. Communication. Excellent verbal and written communication skills are essential for virtual assistants to contact clients, receive assignments from clients, and perform many duties, such as customer support and creating records. Editorial skills. It is vital to turn in written work that is free of typos and grammatical errors, so virtual assistants should have solid editorial skills. They should also be content with doing light research and typing documents. Organization and time management. In addition to helping clients manage their time by helping with calendars, schedules, and appointments, and carrying out organizational tasks for clients, virtual assistants need to be adept at establishing their own tasks and managing their own time. As a virtual assistant, you might take jobs from multiple clients at once and need to perform all of them excellently and on time. With the number of solopreneurs growing, virtual assistants are seeing a sharp increase in demand for their services. You can get underway by applying to jobs on Upwork, Indeed, or virtual assistant jobs. Virtual assistants make around $20 an hour on average, according to Indeed.com. Many virtual assistants have also found success by creating their own private brand and promoting it to entrepreneurs and startups. Start your career as a virtual assistant by getting clients. You might need to start by accepting small, lower paying jobs until you build knowledge and positive reviews. You can also mention to your professional network for job openings or search for job listings online. Freelancing Freelance work is one of the most popular ways to make money online, and you don't need any investment to start the process. All you need is to classify a few key portals and register yourself as a freelancer. Then, you need to market your skills to clients and share some sample work. When clients search for a professional to hire, they want a freelancer with experience working in their precise industry. While any freelance writer might be able to write about plumbing, for instance, one who has written broadly on the topic will have the background needed to create a higher quality piece, and therefore, some businesses want to hire for their marketing campaigns. Contemplate the type of freelance business you want to run. Know where you have completed work in the past and reflect on that experience and the expertise you have and how that can help shape and grow your freelance career. Background knowledge or know-how in particular subjects, experience working with clients or companies in certain industries, or even certifications can make you an appealing professional. If there are any delicate areas you would like to work but you don't have official experience or training, looking for certifications or learning experience to add to your resume can also be helpful. It can be alluring for many new freelancers to undersell themselves when they first start and think that it will aid them and build their client base, but you want to price yourself competitively based on your qualifications. Remember that clients hunger to work with professionals they can trust to manage the project confidently and with a high level of skill. 
Pricing yourself too low can hinder the confidence of potential clients in your skills, and it can also set a small bar for professional rates with your clients. In its place, look at your professional experience and expertise in the industry. Reflect on similar jobs you've completed, results you've produced, and the typical rates in your industry. Price yourself fairly when you bid on jobs or reach out to clients for work. When considering an hourly rate, see what others make in your industry. As you move over your freelance career, remember that your experience will always improve. Therefore, you want to alter your rates accordingly. As you shape your portfolio and continue to prove yourself to clients, you can use this confidence in your services to adjust your prices and ensure that you're compensated fairly for your work. Selling Homemade Items There is an additional way you can make easy money from home with no financial investment as long as you have raw materials, cooking ingredients, or craft supplies. It can be hard to pull product ideas out of thin air, so use yourself as a starting point. What would you want in your own house? Everyone is always looking for something they could use in their house but would rather buy it from the internet, which is where you come in to provide the quality. It helps to come up with a product you can batch effortlessly, keeping it at an inferior price point and making it easier to sell. For example, you may find you can batch items easily which include 3D printing. It all comes down to what you can do and what you can make best. Before you settle on a product, ask yourself a few questions. What are you ready to sell it for, who would pay for it, and how closely do those two numbers match? Much lower overhead than selling in person is one of the primary pros of selling handmade items online. Others include higher profit margins than selling on consignment, more flexibility in work hours, a vast customer pool, and being able to react to market fluctuations swiftly and nimbly by dynamically changing prices. Cons include having to facilitate the shipping of items to locations all over the world, which can be overwhelming, time-consuming, and expensive. There is also a learning curve required to maintain a website. A huge amount of competition exists too, because no one else in your town might be making handmade wooden animal puzzles, but if you move your business online, and you are now competing against the entire internet. Thanks to dominant e-marketplaces like Amazon, online customers are accustomed to bargain prices and perks like free shipping. Due to the competition and the relative anonymity of the shopping experience, it can be more challenging to get to know your customers and build brand loyalty. But you don't have to choose. Many whisperers of crafts and other handmade items retail their wares both in person and online. And online, they almost all the time are selling on multiple channels. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. Until next time.